Hi, I'm Kyle Justice. And I'm Pat Roy. And we're, we're the, the Creation, Creation Guys. Guys. All right. You know, about two or three months ago, I had this idea where I was hearing a lot of different stuff about the flat earth, and I thought, you know, we need to produce a documentary on this subject. And you know, I thought it was going to be a great, interesting topic, but the further we've gotten into this, the deeper I realize that this goes. You know, even so, even more, is the fact that it seems to be even dividing the church. Right. And speaking of dividing, remember what it says in 2 Timothy, yeah. is that we need to be rightly dividing the Word of God. We're really realizing that that's where this issue is at, is that we need to uh, talk about the scriptural part of it. And so we went to Dr. Stephen Boyd at Calvary University in Kansas City, Missouri, and man, he gave some great input. It was an incredible interview, and I think Kyle, as we were talking to him, that's when we really realized how deep this went. I mean, he talked about how our view of the shape of the earth actually mm -hmm. affects um, our theology in general, and how it affects our view of Christ, and how it even affects our views on Israel. And uh, I think we found that it goes much deeper than we thought. Well, you know, studying God's Word is the first priority in what it says. But we also thought, wouldn't it be great to get some additional input? And so we reached out to Dr. Danny Faulkner at Answers in Genesis, who gave us some great input just from a science perspective and then amazingly we got a first-hand view of somebody who had actually seen the earth from way out and that was General Charlie Duke who was on Apollo 16. And we thought we were just about done filming and then a huge opportunity came. We got a call by a, a call from a man by the name of Victor Brewer and he said that he was going to do a weather balloon launch and he was going to video it and that it was going to be evidence for the curvature of the earth and we knew we had to go but we had been doing things on a small budget and we had burnt through everything that we had. And so we put together a GoFundMe project. Yeah. And that's when Calvary University stepped in and said that they would fund the project. Yeah, it was amazing. We put it out there for about 2100 and within a couple of days, it's like, we want to help you do that. And we were just blown away by this great blessing. So we got to come out here to Ohio and launch the weather balloon and it was a total success. Yeah. So we thought we'd give you a quick report on how it all happened. It was eight o'clock in the morning when we arrived at the offices of Aerial Image Solutions. We met Victor in person and within just a few minutes, his whole team was busy preparing the technology for the launch. I was really impressed with the camera they were going to use. It was a 360 8K camera. They were also busy testing the equipment that they would use to track the balloon's flight so the camera could be recovered. Was oh, he out driving already? Oh, we're out there, man. No, no that's so fast. That's not right. <laughs> Before long, we headed out to the launch, a field in Johnstown, Ohio. Soon a tarp was unwrapped and an empty balloon was spread out. They began filling it with hydrogen. While the balloon filled, the entire team continued to prepare the rest of the technology. Once the balloon looked close to the right size, Victor began testing the balloon for the amount of lift it had. That's 38. Hold on to it tight there again. It was important that the balloon was inflated just enough to carry the weight of the payload. Finally, the pressure was right and the team attached the payload, including the camera and the tracking device. Then the balloon was released by Victor's daughter. All right, three, two, one, let go. It was awesome to see the balloon rise up and then eventually disappear into the sky. Many of us were able to track the balloon's movement on our smartphones, and the balloon seemed to be heading southeast. All of us jumped into our cars and began the chase to retrieve the balloon. Our hopes were that the flight would be long and high, but that meant a long journey. As it turned out, the balloon was in flight for about two hours, which was a great sign, and it traveled about 96 miles. Once the camera was retrieved, Victor did an initial preview of the video, and he was extremely happy. Soon, the video from the balloon will be released. This was also a historic flight because Victor and his team have devised a new technique that will accurately use the footage to demonstrate the curvature of the Earth. And so we, we really felt this was a huge success, a, a great victory. That's right. So we want to express our gratefulness to Calvary University for your support and getting us out to Ohio it wouldn't have happened without you. And also to our friends who also generously gave to help yeah. us out. We pray that the Lord is gonna use it to build the faith of Christians and also challenge flat earthers to really reconsider what they're believing. Yeah, so take us a little bit to finish it off, so stay tuned. <laughs> 